Yeah, good morning, guys, and mine happened to our friends there in the Philippines. Uh, up on the screen, we have um, uh, Tintin and Botog, the brain surgeon from the Bohovel. And you're probably wondering why. Well, uh, of late, uh, there has been a few people uh, asking about the Baby Faith Fund. And although we did a video on this uh, Baby Faith Fund uh, last year, uh, what we decided to do is revisit it again and put a lot more detail and a lot more evidence to you. Uh, on this channel, we'll try and be uh, very clear. There's no lies, no innuendo. We only use their words. Boss Hogs and Tintins. So, before we start, I just want to give you a bit of a background. Baby Faith, God bless her. She had a, a terrible disease, absolutely terrible disease, and um, she needed urgent treatment. And a GoFundMe was set up. And Boss Hog and Tintin got themselves involved, and we're doing live streams. Uh, uploading videos, uh, making pleas for donations. And of course, I haven't heard of what the uh, donations was for, uh, donations flooded in. Um, as time went on, um, people were asking questions, and rightly so, and Boss Hog, and Charance uh, both attacked trolls. The trolls are stopping us from sending baby fear for treatment, they said. The trolls have put a stop to the donations, they said. Now, there was two things going on. Let's make this clear. Prior to the GoFundMe starting, these two parasites were asking for donations. And donations were sent in before the GoFundMe started. And we'll prove this. Once the GoFundMe started, the funds continued to go in. And the funds that were finally raised were more than enough to have sent this child for treatment or at least started some kind of treatment but these two parasites and Lady Macbeth included amongst that blamed the trolls the stopped us collecting funds and we're going to reveal what we stopped them doing so I want you to take a look at this next screenshot. So what you see here is a, a video. Um, and this is the uh, title of the video, the introduction, made by Boss Hog. Uh, there is a link in the description of this video, guys, that is here today, in our, uh, our video, for you to go and take a look at Boss Hogs final accountant of the Baby Faith GoFundMe. Link is in the description. Everything uh, you will see there is quite descriptive. What you've got to bear in mind is Boss Hog uh, is holding his phone or his camera very wobbly against the uh, screen. So it'll be a stop start, stop start situation that you're looking for details. But what what we've done, what we have done, is we have picked out the main uh, bits that you need to see. The main bits of evidence that you need to see that these parasites skimmed and scammed the baby faith fund 
and the saw. Let's get uh, let's get into it and take a look at this next screenshot. Right, guys, uh, this screenshot that you see in front of you now. Um, two very important dates uh, on here, and what you'll see is uh, the GoFundMe officially started on September the 2nd, 2018 and ran until June 18th, 2019. So it officially started on the, uh, September the 2nd, 2018 and finished June 18, 2019. That's the official fund. Now, funds were sent before the GoFundMe started. Bossog and our channels, live streams, asking for donations, uploading videos, asking for donations. Donations were being sent to those two parasites. And if you look on the bottom, what you'll see is this, another very important date. There were funds sent to Elizabeth Martin, Our Lady Beth, meant for Maricel. And they were sent before the official GoFundMe started. And the exact date that money was sent was August 11, 2018 and up until August 29, 2018. A total of $2,885 was sent to Beth Martin. And you'll see on the bottom there, note, uh, some funds were allocated towards the church. It then continues to say, Beth's driveway, Tintin and Beth's driveway, and I think some tiles for their kitchen. So, thinking about those dates, money was arriving before the official GoFundMe started. There's nearly $3,000 being sent to Beth and that money was allocated to Marcel, but some of it was used for render for the church. Some of it was used for the driveway and tiles for the kitchen. Just take a look at this next screenshot. Yeah, and quite clearly on this screenshot, I'm sorry the, uh, the screenshots are not very clear, but uh, Boss Hog was doing the video on, and uh, this is all he was showing us, but it shows you quite clearly that uh, funds out of the GoFundMe were allocated to Challenge and Beth. Uh, To the church for rendering and tiles and also Terence and Beth's driveway. Now this is a form that was set up to save the life of a child. This is a form that Bossog and Ter Tintin told the world that the trolls had stopped them from collecting donations. And here we have Tintin and his good lady Beth and dipping into the fund and taking money out of that fund for tiles, rendering in the kitchen and a driveway. So you tell me who's the scammer. You tell me who's the criminal. Now, this video, this screenshot was taken from Boss Hogs audit video it's not lies it's not something we've dreamt up it's there for everyone to see 
Now, if you go across and watch the video, what you'll see is a total of $27,000 was raised in total for baby fear to get treatment. $7,000 of the 27 arrived before the official, the official GoFundMe was set up. But a total of $27,000. So are you telling me that $27,000 was not enough to send this child for treatment and have a chance of a life? There's the evidence. It's there in front of you. And these people like you to believe that uh, we've done no, nothing wrong we've not they never stole anything it's there in front of your eyes when are you going to uh, wake up and so as a conclusion uh, to this video uh, this goes out to uh, all those people who ask why why are you exposing Tintin why are you exposing Bossog this is one of the main reasons this is one of the main reasons baby Faith had a chance of life these two pair these pair of parasites jumped on the bandwagon I watched them e-begging, asking for donations. I watched them doing live streams, taking money in through the back door. People in live streams, where can we send money to? Where can we send money to? They were raking the money in. And they had the audacity to say that the trolls stopped them from raising money to send this child for treatment when Boss Hogg did the audit video and revealed $27,000 was received. Question is, where did the $27,000 go? We know Tintin and Lady Beth had a dip for the driveway, the church and the kitchen. Where did the rest go? How much did baby fierce mother receive because for sure boss hog had a dip there's no question about that whatsoever we've done videos on this before and asked the question boss hog and tintin will never revisit it they will never get involved in the baby faith debate they won't, they won't come out and tell you exactly what went on. They have closed their eyes. They're blind to it now. And they're blind to it for a reason. These two scammers made a killing. And it's proven there in the audit. So to all the doubters who say these people are not e-beggars and scammers, just go and look at the evidence. Go and look at the video. The link is in the description. Boss Hogg's audit. It's all there for everyone to see. And I'll see it again. That's the reason. One of the reasons why I would personally not let these pair of scammers forget what they've done. Guys. I hope we've helped you out with this and uh, until the next time please like comment share and subscribe and just beware of these two parasites that you see up on the screen don't send them money bye for now